Hey YouTube, welcome to Let's Get Into It with E and J. I'm E. And I'm J. My husband J and I have been together for almost 20 years. We are doing this podcast because we have had many, many priceless life experiences. So we feel our viewpoint is valuable. And no doubt, we like to have a good time along the way. Our channel is a different perspective on relevant hot topics of today. So basically something different. So, so let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. All right, YouTube. Yo, E and J is back. <laughs> yes, here we go. Another week. Here we go. <laughs> Another video. Yeah, a little, little late this time. We're trying to get Thanksgiving together. <laughs> we want to appreciate all the new subscribers. Yes, thank you so the much. likes, comments, uh, sh hitting the share button. Mm, we love it. We love that. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> yes, we do. Keep supporting. Please do. We appreciate everything. Keep tuning in. Please do. Right. We are here for you. Yes. <laughs> Today, we are going to do something a little different. We are going to review a movie. We actually were requested to do this. Yes, we got a couple of comments yeah. saying that, um, do you know, the lay off the Umar videos and to, and to come with some movie um, reviews. Review. Yeah. So, here we go. Here we go. This is E and J. We are going to review Harriet. Where you get that picture from? That's the... the I'm talking about a me. Oh, Today I told you to smile. Take a picture. <laughs> wow, I just came from down running. <laughs> oh, come on. You look good. You always look good. <laughs> That's my husband. God damn beard looking all scruffy. Oh. <laughs> looking like shaggy dude. <laughs> Let's focus on the, the task at hand. We're going to review this movie, Harriet. Uh, this is featuring Harriet Tubman and her life. We're going to take a look right now at some of the descriptions given to us by uh, different platforms of what this movie is supposed to be about. Basically, this review right here is from IMDB TV, basically talking about the, um, the extraordinary tale of Harriet Tubman's escape from slavery and transformation into one of America's greatest heroes who courage, ingenuity, and tenacity freed hundreds of slaves and changed the course of, of history. And we also have a review here or a description from Rotten Tomatoes. Um, they say, based on the thrilling and inspirational life of an, an, of an iconic American freedom fighter, Harriet tells the extraordinary tale of Harriet Tubman's escape from slavery and transformation into one of America's greatest heroes, whose courage, ingenuity, and tenacity freed hundreds of slaves and changed the course of history. So that's basically the same description. So obviously you can see this is supposed to be a true depiction of what went on with Harriet Tubman in her life. But also, you can also tell who is the, uh, the race behind who wrote these articles as well. Oh. Is what I get. You oh. know what I'm saying? Because the movie is kind of like nothing like what they depict in here. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That, if you get what I'm saying. Well, okay. Are you saying that she is not courageous with ingenuity no. and tenacity and freedom? Just like, okay. I'm, I'm feeling you. Yes. I ain't saying that. I'm saying well, that the platform mm -hmm. that these two articles come from mm -hmm is white based oh yeah these are white folks talking about this these are not black owned right exactly <laughs> yeah yes um oh so so you say the movie does depict her courage and ingenuity and tenacity and she freed hundreds of slaves and changed the course of history yeah yes i believe she okay. did do that. <laughs> she did that in the movie what but, but you know what it but is this mo the movie is nothing like what we think harriet tubman <laughs> is or done or did yeah well in my opinion <laughs> yeah hey we watched the movie we we got it on the five stick over here <laughs> we didn't go to see it you gotta be telling all the people out there right. everybody got the God damn the jail broke fire stick who ain't got that <laughs> Damn, gotta be telling them. You ain't gotta tell them. Hey, well, listen, we're not gonna support this. Um, you're gonna get our opinion in a minute. Yeah, I, in my opinion, this movie should not be supported by ADOS, American Descendants of Slaves. This is not. This is not us here. 
this is what he was saying. This is their depiction of what they think Harriet Tubman was. So let's get into it. Okay. So was this the true factual depiction of the Harriet Tubman we all know from a grade school? I was taught about Harriet Tubman. I know she ran the Underground Railroad. Or was this a work of Hollywood artistic license fiction? I've heard of that term, artistic license. What do you mean? That means <laughs> where Hollywood gets a hold of a story that, that may or may not have been true, and they just put their spin on it, put things in it, take things out of it, and basically just twist it all up. Right, to they make it all cinematic. Yeah, they, they make a story that they think is worth telling. So is it a true factual depiction, or is it just artistic license fiction? Hmm... Well, um, <laughs> I know you know. Well, maybe you don't. This is my girl, Yvette Carnell. She has some definite uh, ideas about what this movie is and uh, really what it's telling us or what it's, what it's saying about Harry. Check her out. What's going on, family? How is everybody doing? I had no intention of being here <laughs> today, but... Um, Sometimes something happens and you feel like you cannot wait, like you can't let a weekend get in between it, especially when you're talking about release weekend, you're talking about what people are going to go see. You feel like you have to, well, I do, I feel like I have to get out ahead of some things and have a conversation. So we, we you know, we have to talk about it, fam, because even in my, in my email, like there was an ad that popped up and it, it was the movie, right? And what we have talked about, what we have talked about, and please hit the like button, fam. Just please, when you come in, just hit that like button for me. If you can't do but one thing, hit the like, hit the like button. Like, hit it for me. Just do that. Cost you nothing to hit that like button. Cost you nothing to smash that bell if you have not smashed that bell. These are things that are totally, totally free to you. So please do that for me. Now listen, I want to get in because I know people are tired and I want to hear from you too. We had a specific conversation about some issues that we had previously. Let's do a bit of recap before we talk about how awful the stuff that we learned was. So we learned some new stuff in the last few days when people started seeing it and seeing premieres of this Harry movie with Cynthia Erivo as the lead. We learned some things that we didn't already know. So we already had problems with some things, right? And the things that we had problem with in terms of who was going to portray and who portrayed our this iconic, this, 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 this freedom fighter, this, the, the, this, you know, led slaves to freedom. There is nothing, how can I say, there's nothing bigger than that. There's nothing grander than that. There's nothing more important than that and who Harriet was. So we already had problems and the kind of problems that we had in terms of the role, we can, we can talk a little bit about that by talking about I don't know if you all saw it, but Erivo was on Hot 97. It was, it was, it was, it was like, I mean, it was like watching paper dry or something. I mean, before we even get to everything else, like, I don't know how you can sell a movie. You don't have that level of charisma, but let's get into the actual what happened because that goes into the problems that we had with the movie. So we had, the, there's a, there's a Nigerian Brit um, in Erivo playing the lead figure, playing the playing Harriet, right? Playing our hero, our icon. That is, that is, that is, and then we didn't even talk about, because we didn't know, or we just, I didn't, I didn't even put two and two together, that Harriet's husband in the movie was also, was also a Nigerian Brit. So these are things that, that, these are things that we have to put together, right? So, and everybody's trying to make this out as if, let me bring this up so you can see a little bit better, as if we're somehow the problem, as if we, you know, are we going to have any movies? Are you going to be able to do anything? Because one of the things that we have to understand is that this is not any kind of xenophobia. You have to understand when Hattie McDaniel got the first Oscar for an African-American was like, what was that, 1940? And she was a maid. So we had a whole period of not being anything, locked out of Hollywood. Then they gave us, a, like a generation, they gave us like Denzel and the Will Smiths of the world and, 
Angela Bassett, and then we go to somebody else getting all the roles. It's not anything about that. It's about when are we going to be able to eat the fruit? We've labored here. We fought for these roles. We fought for these positions. When are we going to have our due? We, you know, you saw Martin, MLK was was played by um, the same thing. Um, David, you know who I'm talking about. We saw uh, when you when you when you talk about you know the when you talk about what was it Coretta Scott King in a movie. When you talk about Aretha's going to be playing uh, Aretha Franklin. When you talk when you look at Twelve Years a Slave. When you all of these movies. Like, we're not even playing our heroes. People are using our heroes to catapult themselves into EGOT territory, to catapult themselves into getting an Oscar, right? There's, a, there's this wild kind of aspiration. That's what we were talking about. And all of that came to a head in this, in this interview because there were a few good spots in this interview. Then we're going to talk about the, the black villain in the Tubman movie. We're gonna, this is going to lay the framework. We're going to talk about the white savior, in the Tubman movie, we're going to talk about a whole lot of stuff, but let's just lay the framework first. And let's understand the kind of framework that we're laying. This movie is, this movie's a fraud. This movie is anti-ADOS propaganda. This movie is anti-reparations propaganda. Hmm. Anti-reparations propaganda. How could that be? What are they doing? What are they doing to Harriet? <laughs> Did um, uh, Yvette mention this guy right here? <laughs> Chitwatel. If okay, say his hey, name. Chippewa. Um, <laughs> Chippewa <laughs> Force. Ifufo. <laughs> E E O O. Chawatel. My man from four, from the Four Blood Brothers, yo. With uh, Tyrese. Chawatel it it joy for it joy Yeah, he been in. Chawatel it joy for. Okay, we know him. He's from Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, that movie was all about slavery in this country. This, this man is English. Did she mention this guy? She didn't say his last name. David Ayolowo. <laughs> I'm messing these names up. David Ayolowo. Ayolowo? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, do we know him? He's from Selma. That's Martin Luther the King. You ain't never met Martin Luther the King. <laughs> He's English. Then we are definitely focusing on uh, Cynthia Erivo. Erivo? I can, her name is easy. Vivo. Evivo. Evivo video. Evivo. Cynthia Evivo. And of course, she's from Harriet. She's a Nigerian Brit. Then, For people uh, who don't know what Brit means, that's British. British, yes. <laughs> and then there's her husband, uh, Zachary Momo. Momo? <laughs> this is what I've ever said. Of course, he's from Harriet as well. Another Nigerian Brit. Okay. Um, what's going on here? What is going on? They don't want to let our people go. What? <laughs> That's what's going on. What here. is happening? Why? Okay. I don't see any ADOS. These are all movies having to do with slavery and with Selma, the um, uh, uh, civil rights uh, acts and all of that. This have to do with people who are coming from an impoverished situation. Are uh, any of these people affiliated with any of that? I don't know what's going on in England. What about Nigeria? I don't know. But uh, this also uh, asks, begs to ask the question. If these people, especially for the Harriet movie, movie, if they are Nigerian British, did their families uh, uh, sell slaves? Possibly. Or did, were they... Uh, sold over here from Nigeria? They're British. Mm, who knows? Hmm. Man? Allegedly. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep on them. Questions. Okay. Are we talking about, Yvette mentioned this word, xenophobia. I didn't know what that meant. Xenophobia is the dislike or prejudice of people from other countries. Is this about xenophobia? I don't think so. 
this is about why aren't we being cast as our own heroes? This has to do with our situation, our history in this country. Not these English, Nigerian, British people. This is not their thing. This is not their history. Well, who you know, um, American actress that look like Harriet Tubman? Okay, I know who could have did a real good job with this. Who that? Taraji. Taraji P. Henson should have played Harriet Tubman. In my opinion, she would have killed it. Taraji is an American actress. She could have did definitely. Taraji definitely could have did it. Um, okay, let's talk about. Okay, we can go all the way back to our girl. Um, Ooh. you know, I, I can never think of her know. name. Uh, the best actress in the world. <laughs> what is her name? Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett can do everything. <laughs> Angela Bassett can do anything. That woman is incredible. Why she couldn't have done something like this? But do they look like Harriet Tubman, yo? Okay, does this woman look like Harriet Tubman? She almost did a little. Oh song. come on. <laughs> Anybody can just be, you know, broke down I mean, and look damn, like that. That's my opinion. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, oh. I'm not getting at your opinion. I'm just saying, um, this, we, they could have done anything, uh, other than this. Nigerian. Okay, they could have put someone in that really could have represented us. You see what I'm saying? They could have done a lot better with this casting instead of these people. Like she said, um, they trying to get egot. I found out what that meant. Egot, Emmy, Grammy. Oscar, Tony. They try to put themselves in an EGOT position. Well, at the end of the day, it's they shit. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's it's, true. They, it's they thing, man. Right, Hollywood. That's, yeah. that's, that's true. That's true. And but they gonna you know what? Do, they, and it, it's been going on for centuries, yo. Yeah. That Ever is. since the TV been invented. Yeah. TV programming. Yeah. <laughs> that's what this is. TV that, programming. Well, it, it, on, the, on the big screen, that's true, but... I mean, do we have, are we, should we support this? Well, hell, you know, we, we did. And we not? We, no, we didn't. We looked at it on the, the jailbroke <laughs> fire stick. There you go. I, listen, the jailbroke Damn. fire stick can be bought on Amazon. You know that's where we got it from. So Come much. on. What is, hey, listen, there's no shame in that. Man, you just Man, got let me. Let me goddamn uh, people, <laughs> let them mind their business. Uh, well, let we them already, mind their business. I, Listen, I'm minding my business. That's what we no, thought. No, you telling our business. Well, we did not support damn this it. movie. That's the point. You keep talking about the damn fire stick. Okay, but well, why you don't want to buy? No, we got the fire stick. Is it a secret? Cause damn it. We ain't supposed to talk about the fire stick. <laughs> damn FBI might be. <laughs> <running>. <laughs> we might be surveillance. In this shit. Surveillance. Oh damn. <laughs> the government might be after us. Oh my god. <laughs> we blowing up. We got a, over a thousand subscribers. Yeah, we now. do. We do. We big. <laughs> Uh, we big time. FBI might be out. <laughs> might be on the. That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> might be on some kind of list. I don't know. <laughs> About damn fire sticks. Oh my god. <laughs> might become I don't know illegal oh after a while. We know. got to get back to the topic sure. at hand. Keep saying fire sticks. Damn Sheesh. <laughs> okay. But today, even though there have been other movies, we need to focus on these two people. Were these the right selections for this movie? Um, we saw the movie. I mean, it is kind of boring. I mean, it's I damn. Was asleep like hell. Yeah, he time. fell all the way asleep. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I, I really feel like I, I, I agree with Yvette. They could have done so much better with these characters to to bring the experience of the ADOS to this Harriet Tubman character. And it seemed like it was a rush job. Yeah, like they know, just like threw it rush, together. Yeah, a rush film. They said the budget wasn't that big anyways for it. Yeah. $17 million or whatever. Not that much. Mm. <laughs> As you can see. Okay. Well, this, this really isn't about, you know, us dogging uh, Nigerian people, British people, whatever. This really has to do with lineage. I really feel like someone who had come from a situation like this had their ancestors that dealt with this type of thing and they have learned about it their whole life. They knew who Harriet Tubman was. They would have brought a lot of, uh, of that to the character. Not, not that dry stuff that Yvette was talking about because, you know, we watched the movie. Um, this lady, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say she can act. She just wasn't a Harriet Tubman. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it just, I don't know. It did not feel right. I don't know. I, don't, I ain't never met Harriet Tubman. Oh, see? So oh, damn. I don't know how she is. Who, so. uh, who you know?
know met Harriet Tubman. I don't know. You said a Harriet Tubman. You are, like, that's like you not what her. I expected. You see what I'm saying? Oh, come on now. You just, oh. Damn, I can't, I can't express myself. Look, you you're not going to tell me about that I don't know Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I don't. You don't know. No, listen, don't nobody have to know Harriet Tubman to have an idea of what she would be like. This is this character. This woman did not bring that to the character. Is what I'm saying. Oh, and I got my idea. See, there you go with that. Damn it. That don't mean nothing. Don't be trying to overpower me here. <laughs> I will overtake you, no, sir. No, you will not. <laughs> That's why you keep fighting. Stop arguing with me no. over everything. It's unimportant. Now stop it. You're not going to overpower See, me. See, I'm, you know what? I'm going to turn your mic off. <laughs> How about that? No, you're not. I will unplug your mic right now. You better cut it out. You better cut it out. See, <laughs> Go to the next slide. This is the greatest down in the yo fuckery. Mama. No, yo mama. Yo, hey, yo mama. Yo mama. Yo grandma. Yo grandma. Yo granddaddy. All that. Yo greasy granny got holes in the pants and that ain't all she man Superman draws. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's how it's getting down in here. <laughs> okay, back, back to to Harriet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit was loud. <laughs> it's a spoiler alert. We want to let you, if you haven't seen this and you're thinking about going to see the Harriet movie, you might not want to go any further in this video because we're going to talk about what happened in the movie right now. Okay, who could this be? Who could this nice fellow looking so innocent on the right there? Who is that? Is that Jesus? Oh, it might be Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not Jesus. Okay. <laughs> but hey, might as well be. That's. Thought it was, uh, That's the depiction it was, of that white Jesus. I thought it was Jesus. <laughs> no, that is Joe. I'm wrong. Joe Alwyn, who played Harriet Tubman's slave master, Gideon Broderick, in the movie. Um, this guy did not exist. This was a complete fabrication. That's Hollywood for yeah, you. That artistic license. They took it here and created a, her slave master with this blonde haired blue eyed man. All right, we're going to uh, listen to a bit of what Yvette got to say about him. So you have, you, you, you have this film review. Now understand that they made up this character. This character, which is like, you know, the, the um, what's his name? Uh, Joe, Joe Alwyn, who was chasing her or whatever. They made him up and try to figure out why they made him up. Because we're going to come back to that when we're talking about the black villain and all of that. Just understand this. Put a, just, just put a pen. Joe Allen plays Harriet's most sadistic master who grew up with her and has to suppress his love for her to the point that he only talks about slaves with ugly animal metaphors, a completely believable 19th century racist characterization, but not only, but, but, but not exactly a deep or resonant one. So, 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 so the, so the slave owner, and we have this in multiple, the slave owner really, I mean, this, 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 this man, he really loved her. This character that was invented, grandson or whatever, he was, he, he, he in, 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 the, in the thing, they say he loved her. Now, tie this to what somebody said in the chat, we're going to have to have a show about this too, about this slave play. That's trying to make us into, instead of being slaves, they're trying to make us into lovers of the white master. And it was just, it was, it was really love, but you know they couldn't do it. And they were like, Romeo and Juliet. So you see the same thing here. He has a complicated relationship with her, her being Harriet, and knows her from childhood and just has a lot of mixed, very confused feelings about her. This didn't happen. I'm saying this is total fiction. They made up this love stuff. The character, we know that some character exists tangentially, but we don't know anything about it. You made up some feelings that this white man, this 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 man who was chasing her had about he was see he wasn't chasing her to bring back the slave. He was he was chasing because he loved her. He he was that's why he was chasing. See, when you, it's about love. What y'all want reparations for? These people just love y'all. Hey, what you want reparations for? Don't you see? It was just love. And love acts out itself in different ways sometimes. See, this is, this is a way 
this puts a gap, this puts a hammer down in the middle of our reparations conversation. Because in terms of what happened in reality, we have a villain and we have a victim. ADOS has been victimized multi-generationally and we know exactly who did it. If you try to make it about love and all this stuff, and it was some, it was some, it was, and it was some real bad black man too. The black man was a bounty hunter. He was chasing her, and the white man saved her. Come on, so it was a lie. You can't ask for reparations. That was that was a good man. And so, if you ask us why we don't see Erivo as an ally, I don't know what kind of ally would do that. You have two black leads, a Nigerian Brit leads in these roles who are undermining ADOS justice claims on their way to get an Oscar, which you were not good enough from what I hear from the views I see enough to earn anyway. But that's what you're doing. Okay, we we gonna speak on this right here. He was in love with her. Mm -hmm. That white man loved Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, a lot of a okay. lot of people okay. in the world. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so there is no real need. Like she said, we should not be um, looking down on white people like this. They were in love with us. They had deep emotional feelings. They didn't see us as property. They had love. <laughs> Can't even say this yeah, you know they wanted that black coochie. Oh damn! It's the best in the world. Okay, that may be true, you know <laughs> but so you can't that's, knock not, that's not you love. Can't knock hey, hey, I don't care what you say it's about no slave master. He don't love you. No, he don't have love for you. He don't love them hoes. He don't. He don't love them hoes. <laughs> he don't love them hoes. No hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. <laughs> But do you see uh, what's, what's going on here in Hollywood? Hollywood wanted to seem like it wasn't that bad. White people was not holding us in chains and beating us, whooping us with that big ass horse whip. They didn't do that because they loved us so much. They just could not be out in the sun like that. <laughs> Oh, they couldn't they couldn't jason they get cancer from the sun they skin can't hold all of that uh, vitamin d oh they ain't have on suntan lotion they didn't have then. that back then <laughs> they didn't even... <laughs> they could have covered themselves in mud in mud they could have maybe they didn't think of that because you know they was busy you know with the black women <laughs> They was, too, black coach. they was too busy doing that but yeah no this wants you to think that um uh, the slave master was not going to hunt her down to drag her ass back and beat her in front of the rest of the slaves to um, hold her up as an example of what's going to happen if you try to leave here. No, that wasn't going to happen. He was going to bring her back and uh, put her in his uh, extra guest room and uh, just cater to her every need because he loved her. But she did not fall for it because no. she jumped right off that damn Her bridge. Her jumped, she said, I will <laughs> die. I'm go I'd rather die than <laughs> come back there with you. <laughs> she jumped off that bridge and they thought she was dead. But that she was kind of believable yeah. than what I believe she would have done. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, she definitely would have done like, that. That was the mentality of, of, of what you would think Harriet Tubman would do. But um, do you see how all of these things are not even true? This man did not exist. So there was no love to feel for Harriet Tubman. All of this stuff is made up by Hollywood to just throw the story off. Just throw it all kinds of backwards, upside down. Because the, the, the reason uh, all of this is being uh, put forth is to say, okay, slavery wasn't that bad. They just, they really loved us. I think they might have just loved us and we didn't understand. <laughs> Well, they were why, misunderstood. That's why most of that movie, I was asleep. Yeah, like hell, you was. Uh, <laughs> you was I was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> but let's it move It did on. not hold my attention. No, and yeah, that's another thing. This lady, um, uh, the the Erova, I forget her name, the the Nigerian Brit lady. Um, Cynthia. This Cynthia, Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Um, did not have that kind of charisma to you know hold your attention too long. Um, some people say they liked the movie. Um, my daughter and her, her boyfriend went. They said they liked it, but you know, young people may. And I think uh, Yvette is going to address this. 
Um, this is going to be held up as some kind of standard. This movie is going to be like what you would have on your Friday when your teacher said, we're going to watch a movie today. And she go get the video so you can see how Harriet Tubman really was versus her teaching about him, about her and, you know. Oh, yeah, with all the, um, all the classrooms come together. Yeah, and the audiovisual <laughs> department bring that big TV. <laughs> so you can watch, watch you can watch the DVD in, in the class. And everybody be asleep for real, but hey, she going to bring it in there. This is going to be held up as some kind of standard. And it's just full of lies. It's not even real. It's not even true. So, now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, <laughs> man, he look like an Uma. A Omar. He's Omar. This is Omar J. Dorsey. In the movie, his name was Bigger Long. He is the bounty hunter that was hunting down Harry Tubman. Again, a complete fabrication. There was no black bounty hunter chasing her. This is a lie. I don't know who, like you said, I think they just threw this shit together. They just, okay, what we're going to do is get a black guy to chase her down. And, then, you know, there's going to be some controversy behind it. And then we're just going to hide a white man. He's just going to be so in love with her. And we're going to have all that going on. It's just the psychological shit. Not the torture and the hell of slavery. Nah, that ain't important. What we're going to do is put some love in there. And we're going to have this whole thing with the con con conflicting uh, feelings from the white man. He love her. He's a slave owner. He want to beat her. But he love her. And then we got a black man. <laughs> Let's just run around with a gun. <laughs> Damn, yeah. All, yeah, all what she said, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> all what she said. Damn! I mean, this is just a ridiculous mess. This don't have nothing to do with Harriet Tubman and what she did. Damn, bigger long. Bigger. <laughs> All right. Mm. Let's see what Yvette got to say about this. Let's talk about let's let's talk about the black villain for a second. It's, this is from Shadow and Act. This is from Shadow and Act. The Shadow and Act review of the Tubman movie. It's also especially interesting that in the hell that white supremacists built, the big bad of Harriet is a black man. While it's great to see Dorsey's range outside of the lovable characters he's played on Queen Sugar and When They See Us, this this year, when they see us this year, making him a black bounty hunter hell bent on capturing or killing Harriet for money is certainly a choice. A choice. And it absolutely is. In fact, it's Harriet's former enslaver who has to graphically shoot the black bounty hunter in the head to stop the bounty hunter from killing Harriet. Now understand something, we have no evidence of a black bounty hunter who hunted Harriet. Even the, even the, even the historian who tried to say something today provided no citation. Well, they was around, they was out here, and there was a Dover one. No, that was just a man. See, that's not a person who is complicit with white supremacy to stay alive and everything that had to happen. That's different because that's, a, that's the way the structure is built. What you're saying is, see, the thing is, you should not have included a black bounty hunter unless that's what really happened. If there was really a black bounty hunter who was, who was chasing Harriet, then you can include it. If that's not the case, you don't get to make up a black bounty hunter. You don't get to make him black because that's what you want to do. Because you want to change what it was. You want to change the villain from a white, from white supremacy white men and white women in that time because it wasn't just white men you want to change it from that to a black man you want to villainize a black man in a movie just because you want to you don't get to do that when that's not biographical that's a racist thing to do if you don't have evidence that some black man actually chased Harriet down which you don't then absolutely you shouldn't have you should you should not have done that but it gets worse the black man actually killed, there was a business owner, um, a black woman played by Janelle Monet. She was actually made up as well. She was a fictional character as well. And she was killed by the black man. That's the only violence in there is when she was killed. Now let's read it. The murder of this black woman was especially brutal, considering that up until that point, Lemons, Lemons is the director, 
chose not to display much of the physical violence of slavery in order to focus on the psychological and emotional trauma black people suffered at the hands of white people. It's especially interesting that what, what we said before, like to black man, understand something. You have to understand something. They created, fic, there was, this is fiction. They created a black bounty hunter out of thin air. Had him chasing Harriet, the whole movie. They created a black woman who took Harriet in and taught her how to be a free black woman. These people were fictional characters. They created, they created a black man to murder a black woman in the Harriet Tubman film. Understand what I'm saying, please. They created a black man so that he could murder a black woman in the movie. These were not characters that existed. They created him just to murder that black woman. Here's the other side of it. They created this white character who chased Harriet just to save Harriet. So they created a black man to kill a black woman and they created a white man to save a black woman. Tell me that's not social engineering. Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. So hold on a second. Let me understand something. Let's just make sure, we under let's make sure we're clear. Let's just make sure we're clear, right? Now, in terms of being ADOS, right? We don't get cast to play Harriet. We don't get cast to play the husband. None of that, right? So what do what do what do what do we get cast to play? Well, we get cast to play the bounty hunter. You okay with that? The bounty hunter is ADOS. That's what we get. That's the role we get. What do you think? What do you think that means? <clears throat> hmm? What does that mean? I'm just asking. You don't think we were vilified in this movie? You don't think that sends a certain, that projects or suggests a certain ADOS future? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It doesn't make any sense. None of it makes any sense. Okay. <laughs> it don't. Well, the one American mm -hmm. that's played in this movie mm -hmm. is a murderer. Yes. Um, he hates his own kind. Yes, because he's hunting them down. And once again, that's Hollywood for you, yo. And all of this... Not all, surprising. Every bit of this whole narrative... It's fake. That artistic license uh, term is just a bunch of lies. They use it to just make shit up. This is not real. This is not what ha happened to Harry Tubman. There was no black bounty hunter. There was no white savior slave master. Because what happened in the movie, this man, the uh, white slave master, he hires this bounty hunter because he can't find Harriet. Because you know he loves her so much. So he hires this brutal, mad killer to go look for her. His only rule is don't kill her because I want to kill her myself. That's what he tells him. So the black bounty hunter, as good as he is, finds Harriet and he's about to kill her because Harriet is so weak and feeble and just don't know what she doing. This woman who led hundreds of slaves through the and Underground Railroad. And she was a known marksman. Yes. She would shoot your head off. <laughs> but once again, yeah. they, they portray her as a, you know, weak, Feeble. cowardly, yes. um, um, black woman. Exactly. Just about to get burnt. Uh, this man got a hemmed up in some rocks and whatnot, like on a cliff. And then in comes the white savior. 
the master kills a bounty honey, shoots him square in the head, just bow, just knocks him, and then tries to get Harriet again because he loves her. <laughs> you said the bounty honey? Bounty hunter. Oh, okay. The bounty, honey? Honey. the bounty honey? The bounty honey. The bounty honey? Sound like that's what you said. Okay. Right? Hunter. <laughs> yeah. So the the moral of this story is black people can't do nothing on their own. We need white people. We need them to swoop in and save us in the last minute because they are mighty and strong. And once again, <laughs> we kill our own kind. Yes, we are sellouts, all of us. The black man, we kill ourselves and we kill our women. Yeah, that's what they do. This guy, the bounty hunter, bigger, long, <laughs> he stomps this woman to death. The uh, free uh, black woman who was um, helping. Monet. Yeah, the, her character that was helping uh, Harriet to become more uh, eloquent and, you know, give a proper um, uh, pronunciation of words, blah, 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 whatever. Helping her just to be free, act like a free person. This man stomped her to death. Killed her. Just like uh, Yvette said, none of these events happened in real life. Hollywood made this whole scenario up to make the black man look like a monster and the white man look like a hero. Damn. 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 damn, damn. <laughs> James. <laughs> Why, Hollywood? Yes. Why? It's, it's so Why bad. Just let us be. It's, it's just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Y'all got yours. You know what? Let us have all. You don't, the truth hurts. You don't like it. You don't want to tell the truth. You like to make shit up and call it artistic license. <laughs> so we will all go see a movie that don't have nothing to do with Harriet Tubman. Just like Tarmac. Yeah. Oh, you mean the, the ground? Road. <laughs> the road. The ground. Tarmac? <laughs> the tarmac. The ground. <laughs> The hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Both of these characters never existed. This whole storyline is fake and false. Just like Yvette Carnell said, this movie is a fraud. They made some shit up because they obviously, if there was some uh, um, historical events, they didn't bother to research. Or that there wasn't any, so they just made some shit up. This is not a historical, factual, um, this is not a biography. This is not something that you could look at and say, okay, that's what Harriet Tubman did. Throughout the movie, she does sneak through and, and get some people and bring them back. And obviously she does that a whole bunch of times in the movie. But the main story, these characters that were made up, brings about this other scenario where Harriet Tubman is this feeble person that needs these men, this white man and this black man to have a storyline. That's, that's what this is. Otherwise, she was boring. <laughs> it doesn't matter if and she saved nobody. I was not. It was kind of boring. <laughs> I woke up with coal in my eyes. <laughs> oh, you are just stupid. Oh my Wipe God. the coal out my eyes to see who's this page of me <laughs> and why is my nigga pop from the bar shop. Tell we me go. he was in the gambling. Oh, that's my. Oh, shit. Rest in peace, baby. Yeah, we love you, big. <laughs> but this is bigger, blong. <laughs> I don't know why they named. Yeah, I do know why they named that. Cause that's nigga, nigga long, <laughs> trying to hunt more niggas. That's what you do. You know they but, was at the long table. Oh yeah, let's start a nigga. Let's name him bigger. bigger. <laughs> they won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, you're so funny. <laughs> and maybe a pl we'll play some Biggie every time yeah. we put him on the his, his <laughs> character comes in in the scene. Yeah. We'll play some Biggie. <laughs> Fuck they do that though. They do throw some black music knock it in there. Yeah. Hollywood yeah. knock it all. <laughs> but um, in in all sincerity, this make black men look terrible. Their, their portrayal of the black man is just some. What what is this? Some gotta do, just killing people. Any ashy. Oh, he's just a mess. And white people, you know what? I don't know. He needs some cocoa butter. This, he needs some shea butter on his this, skin. This portrayal, it don't make you look no better. It really don't. Okay, yeah, you want to make it feel like you have some emotional attachment to this female. Okay, we know that you guys was raping us. That's, that's what that was. That was not love. That's not what you call love. I don't care how you spin it. 
You was raping these women. You was raping these men. It was a lot of fuck shit going on. <laughs> so I don't know how you're going to turn this around to some sweet romantic love story. It's not, it's not what it was. You a was lot a... of medieval. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, um, what's that Quentin Tarantino movie? Um, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Get medieval on that ass. <laughs> Ving Rhames yeah. type shit going yeah, on back yeah. in the 1800s. There was nothing nice about being a slave. There was nothing nice about being a slave master. You had to be brutal. You had to make examples of these ones that run away. So Harriet would have been beaten to death if you had brought her back. Yeah, that was the mentality. Back yes, then. you don't love her. I don't know why. Okay, what what kind of sick shit is this? You have love for this person you don't even think is a person. In the movie, he talks about how you get on his nerves praying. Who you praying to? God don't recognize you. He talked to her because you basically you have to be considered less than a, a pig. No, three fifths. You are, um, he, he gives a scenario, he tells a story, how his dad told him, yeah, you can't have an animal as a pet, one of the farm animals, because we might have to eat them. If you have a pig as a pet, we might have to eat them or sell them. So there's no need to get attached to these pigs, just like these slaves. Don't become friendly or attached to one of them because we might have to eat them or sell them. And that's what that is. You are not a person. This is not to be looked at as like, okay, white people weren't that bad. They, they wasn't that, that as harsh to us as what history tells us. They really had love for us. No, they thought of us as less than animals. And they wanted that coochie. Oh, damn. They wanted that coochie, <laughs> raw dog. Oh, my God. Raw dog, mad dog well, from Martin. Well, hey, see? <laughs> mad, like dog. mad dog. <laughs> Gary Coleman. Oh, my God. <laughs> But then, okay, and yeah, yeah, you did. You raped them, uh, the women a lot. Had all of these real little light-skinned children. They were your kids. But you enslaved them as well. You enslaved your own people. Those are your children. Them little mulatto kids running around, had breeze. Oh, damn, did I say that? Yeah, you said that. <laughs> I don't yeah, mean to say that. I ain't talking about but that's what was happening. You got these children are yours. You know they ain't light-skinned like that from these two black people. But they stayed outside, or else you made them the house slave. Like D-Ray said the other day, I, I feel sorry for y'all, because <laughs> I'm going to be inside. <laughs> yeah, making damn lemonade. <laughs> making sandwiches. <laughs> damn bologna sandwiches like that, with no mayonnaise on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, for E and J's first... M movie, movie review <laughs> the Harriet movie two thumbs down is a cold bust hey don't, yo this don't is let y'all know <laughs> this is just our opinion yeah no doubt if I you know, like the movie then that's, I know some people gonna get you. in the comment section oh it was a wonderful film wild out. we enjoyed it so much <laughs> No, I'm talking about the negativity. Oh, okay. I know we're going to get some of that. Yeah, yeah, well. But this is just our opinion. Right, exactly. Anything we say is our opinion. And when we come with a little facts, too. We definitely come with some facts, no doubt. So, damn. <laughs> Give a brother and a sister a break. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you? Okay. <laughs> but we appreciate y'all yeah, we do. <laughs> watching the video. Please continue to comment, like, share, subscribe, All of hit that. the bell. Yes. yes. Donate if you got a little bit of church money okay. left oh my god <laughs> little lint in your pocket oh, here we with go. the pennies and the dollar 38 we'll take the 38 okay <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video and want the hilarity to continue please support our channel by donating at paypal also if you enjoy this video and want the hilarity to continue Please support our channel by donating that cash app. That's dollar sign E N J podcast one. So, yeah. <laughs> basically, if you're coming from church, okay. If you ain't give the pastor the Father's Day, Mother's Day, building ladies, bond, Ladies' Day, uh, ladies with the best hat, um, 
<laughs> men with the best suit, okay. uh, donation plate, <laughs> um, whatever lint you got in your pocket. The lint. <laughs> the lint though no the lint with the pennies you the, know pennies. the pennies okay we'll take the pennies oh you know how them um the old guys be having like a, a dollar 38 <laughs> the change in their pocket we we'll take the dollar 38 <laughs> that's all i'm saying yes yes we appreciate anything we are not going to uh blame you because you ain't gave us enough we are not going to call you trifling we are not going to build a school we won't do none of that <laughs> and we ain't building no church <laughs> No. I mean, no. I'm gonna take too much of your no, time. No. <laughs> we can do none of that. <laughs> no, but if y'all, you know, in all seriousness, if yes. y'all want to donate, here's all the uh, places you could donate to us to support the channel. We will appreciate it. Yes, indeed. The buttons to donate are located at the top right hand corner of our YouTube homepage. So hit them buttons. Hit them a whole bunch of times. <laughs> So with that being said, you've been listening to Let's Get Into It with E and J. Bye.